Hello everyone and welcome by another video about my orchids. Um, I just did uh, get a, a few qu questions about my zygos and how I uh, grow them in my self-watering setup. The questions came from Orchid Garden. Thank you for that. I really like uh, getting questions and talk about my orchids. Um, but it happens to be uh, about uh, related to, uh, like I said, to my zygos. And um, yeah, I just did get these two guys out. Just before I read the comment, because I just noticed that mine did have some spider mites, especially this one, who has the beautiful flowers, they are now going over. You can see a little bit of discoloration perhaps here on the leaves. But yeah, I completely missed those spider mites and I really, I really hate it when that happens because they can do so much damage on the leaves and the orchid is really struggling um, because they take out such important juices. I hope you can see here some marks. I have the red spider mites most of the times. There are white ones and red ones. Most of the times I have the red ones. And most of the times if I have a pest situation at um, yeah, probably 9 out of 10 times I have the spider mites. I don't know why but I have them uh, quite often. And I, I watch my orchids probably a uh, hundred times a day <laughs> because I love them and I really like lo growing them. But yeah, I completely missed the um, spider mites. You can see here some damage on this leaf as well. If my camera wants to focus. But yeah, I just uh, spray them with the um, with a uh, insecticide that I make it's not my own recipe i use the recipe of miss orchid girl i never change it because it just works for me it works really really great um so if you want to know what recipe she has uh, just let me know uh, and otherwise you can uh, look for it on her channel but um yeah beautiful isn't it A beautiful bloom this one but i just this did this one uh, gave the the pesticide just because they are uh, next to one another on the shelf as well so therefore I just uh, did this one I didn't find um, spider mites on this this one but because they get them that easily and spider mites do love my psychos so just to be uh, safe there I just give this one as a treatment as well the other two psychos that I have just did uh, get a um, treatment not that long ago so they didn't need another one but um, yeah it's very sad it doesn't it has beautiful leaves as you can see they are a little bit discolorated discolored I'm sorry <laughs> um, at first I thought it was because of the light I thought probably they get a little bit too much light especially this one but this one has the lighter leaves and now I know the problem it's just so stupid I should have known better but yeah it happens and I hope it happens to all of us <laughs> well at least I think it does but yeah it's a bit sad but just on the day that I did uh, some get some questions about my orchids or my uh, zygos uh, I f yeah I did find the spider mites so therefore I thought I'm just gonna quickly briefly talk talk about it and now we add the subject I just wanted to show you guys you guys these beautiful roots coming out even underneath it so it the roots are going down to even um, through this um, tray I don't know how to call it as well so I cannot take it out anymore but I have a lot of roots inside of oh, I'm sorry a lot of roots inside the pot as well on top of the pot that new growth is putting out quite some a lot of roots into um, the media as well and the other roots are we have a few older ones but other ones are still viable you can feel it by touching them they are really hard and they get this dark green sometimes a bit browny color I don't know why they are getting uh, green I can I, uh, I get because they are filled with water and sometimes some algae is growing on top of the pot but I think they also turn a little bit brown because I uh, give them uh, uh, hummus I think it's called I will talk about it uh, in another care video but I, uh, yeah I think it's called hummus and that um, yeah this does uh, give some discoloration on the roots but the, yeah, as you can see, it's a nice growing tip there. The plant is happy. Well, it was happy because uh, I, I hope it will get happy again. But yeah, you get the point. 
they uh, do really take well for me in the uh, same hydroponic self-watering as this one I hope it shows up quite on camera nice uh, beautiful new roots growing here into the media some are there so yeah it should be fine but yeah it's just so sad that I miss them the damage is already has been done but I hope uh, I now get it under control again so just a little so I thought why not have a little bit of better and uh, close-up look to this uh, roots of this orchid as well because I now have it out here anyways but as you can see it's beautiful it's filled up I'm starting f to fill up this pot with beautiful roots and like I said we have a little bit of discoloration here nothing to worry about but I think it's the uh, the hummus and look at that a lot of roots once they are happy they can put out so many roots and I'm really happy with it that I had put my orchids in transparent pots so I can uh, really have a have a look of them but yeah beautiful beautiful roots quite thick roots if if you ask me another one coming here another one there and another one there so yeah besides the spider mites these are doing fine luckily so just a little quick update on these psychos and so for now thank you for watching oh and I almost forget but I thank you really for all the new subscribers it makes me really happy to have you here on board on my channel and um, yeah uh, Arca Garden thank you for the question and if uh, you have more questions or your uh, other subscribers or watchers of this uh, video please ask them in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as I can thank you for watching for now and bye bye